Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice came in good and clear. Uh, please invite your friends and today we are going to have a good time together as usual. Uh, Mr. Uh, what's his name? Uh, hold on. Um, hold on. You know, I forgot a lot of, a lot of things. I forgot the day when Allah he sent me the Quran. I cannot remember it. Mm. And I forgot uh, chapters in the Quran. And I forgot verses. And I forgot that I should not sleep with my slave unless she is captured from war. And I forgot I should not, you know, flirt with the wife of my son, but I did flirt with her. And uh, I forgot uh, uh, the name of the true name of the mother of Jesus. Uh, and I forgot what is the real name of uh, the father of Abraham. And I forgot that uh, <clears throat> Mary, she is not a sister of Aaron. And I forgot that the name of the father of Moses is, is not Imran. And I forgot, uh, I mean, hold on. I'm just trying to remember how many things I forgot. Ah, uh, the name of this guy is Insan. Sorry for that. You know, it just, it just Jibreel came to me and squeezed me. And uh, he told me uh, his name. All right, so now we knew his name. Thank you, Jibreel. We appreciate your squeeze. Uh, now, I don't know. This guy, supposedly the Muslim, they choose somebody to refute me. All right. Okay. Now, he made two videos. I'm not going to speak about both of them because we want to leave something for comedy for tomorrow. Right? I mean, we, wanna, we don't want to eat the whole cake in one day. Hello. <laughs> Please invite your friends. We will have a very good time. And uh, I don't know what the guy in the beginning he say because I don't speak Indonesian as you know, but he was saying Banahan, Labahan, Wadahan. I don't know what does that mean, but I think they are saying Christian Prince is lying, maybe, right? I, I don't know really what, what they are saying about me. I mean, I don't know. But the guy he keeps saying Manahan, Wadahan. I don't know if those who speak Indonesian maybe can translate for me what is in the beginning of the video. Anyone watch it? So, like, uh, there's a guy he in the beginning he make introduction, like, uh, uh, you know, but. Uh, Okay. Is the sound good? Sebetulnya, Christian Prince ini keilmuannya tentang Islam dan Stop. What he said? Somebody translate for me. Hey, Indonesian guys, translate what he's saying. What is that? Christian Prince ini Ekalomania, is that a food? Uh, ten, te, Titanic, is that Titanic? No. Ten Tang Islam Dan Christine. What is that? <clears throat> come on, come on, translation. What he's saying? I think there's a delay in the sound. Okay, if somebody can watch the video in the beginning, this guy he is talking about me. Just tell me what he is saying. So, and 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 tell me later what uh, we will skip this part. But I think he is saying Christian Prince is uh, handsome. Uh, is single, and uh, you can find his profile in uh, Muslim uh, girls online. Uh, Muslim, uh, what? CP knowledge in Islam and Christianity. This is what he said. Okay, and let us continue. Kristen sangat dangkal dan narasi-narasi yang ia sampaikan. Stop. What is that? So he said about Christian Prince ini akan kata takido, kata danido, and then he says here, senagat asil aslan. What is that? What? What? What did you say? What? 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 Okay, can you can one of you watch it watch the beginning translate the whole thing put it together so we can read it and make a comment about it so i will skip this part uh if one of you can just watch but uh, in, the, in the beginning this guy is saying because i have no this christian prince actually his knowledge in islam and christianity that's translate brother okay dan semua pernyataan pernyataan atau hujatan hujatan christian prince Hujatan, hujatan. I got this one. This is Arabic. Hujatan, hujatan. Hujatan supposed to prove, mean, right? 
So he's saying Christian prince, you don't have uh, hujatan hujatan. What what he's saying now? Ah, I have a, a shallow uh, knowledge. You know, I have many shallow things. I I uh, like in the other day, I went to swim, and there was a lot of people, you know, and I want to show them that I know how to swim. So I choose like a shallow area, like it's like you can go only to your knee, and I jump there, you know. Uh, but my knee, uh, I did not tell you, my knee is like six foot. Yeah. Anyway, so somebody else, he said, okay, this is shallow area, and this guy obviously is faking it. <laughs> so he decided to jump there, he drawn. <laughs> Unbelievable. True story, Sayyid Bukhari. Okay, what else he said about me? terhadap Islam, Al-Quran, Nabi Muhammad, dan Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala adalah lagu, lagu, lagu. Lagu, lagu? Uh, do not know much about Islam, that is, okay, so they are saying I do not know much about Islam and they are saying Adallahu lagu lagu lama. I don't know, is that a Dalai Lama or something? Is it, there's a connection between the lagu lagu lama and Dalai Lama? I hope we would not involve the Dalai Lama now. All uh, of his blasphemies. Ah, Hajutan is a blasphemies. Ah, I was very close. Almost, I get the, the correct translation. Almost, it's amazing how I know. Okay, so ada ada lahu lagu lagu lama Dalai Lama. Lama. Okay. Sama persis. Sebagaimana hujat. Persis. What persis? Don't come on. Don't insult now. This Christian prince has a shallow knowledge of Islamic Christianity and he plus me Islam Quran and is an old song. Huh? This is an old song. Hujatan para missionaries Christian era tahun 90-an. Hold on, hold on. I got one. He said the uh, missionary Christian. See how I know, how I know. Unbelievable. Genius. Para missionary Christian. So they are, they are saying he's a missionary Christian. Ah, uh, okay. Para misionaris Kristen era tahun 90-an dan sesungguhnya semua sudah dijawab di dalam buku Ustadz Insan LS Moko Ginta yang terbaru. Ustadz Insan, what what? Some mocking, all the school some mocking. Oh okay, all right, we will talk about mocking then. Okay, what is what next? Pelaan spektakuler, mualaf untuk Islam. Di antara 54 buku bestseller karya beliau. Inilah karya Brothers and sisters, lead our magazine. You will find that we are a bunch of idiots who do not know anything about Islam. And Ustaz Insan today is going to get his prophet busted. And let us see how many million Muslims will leave Islam because of this Islamic center. <laughs> Monumental beliau yang paling lengkap. Translation. Memiliki tebal 535 halaman. Uh -huh. Mengumpulkan seluruh jenis hujatan, uh. pelecehan, penghinaan. No way, come on. That's too much. I mean, I don't understand what you are saying, but I, I believe this is too, too much. All your arguments have been addressed by insane book. If, 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 if they make a book about me. <laughs> I, I can tell how he addressed my argument and he never addressed any one of them. All the video he's making, he keep going. He never go back and he say, okay, Christian Prince, he says this, let us get him busted. Hmm. All right. Dan tuduhan terhadap Islam, terhadap Al-Quran, terhadap Allah Terhadap, terhadap. Allah? What does that mean, Tarahadab Allah? What Tarahadab Allah mean? Depending. Uh, okay. He is saying his book now. Okay, guys, please buy his book. Well, Muslims, buy his book so that you can see how we refute to a Christian prince. In five minutes from now, you will see how everybody, every Muslim in the world would die laughing at this idiot. I'm not going to call you Ustaz Unsan no more. You are Mr. Bean of Indonesia. You are who? Mr. Bean. I mean, literally. Mr. Bean, actually, he doesn't have the skills you do have. You know? I see his mistake and foolishness that he convey through social media. Hopefully, Muslim and Christian viewer won't easily believe what he says because his knowledge eh, of Quran and the Bible actually is still low. Okay, it starts in sun. I am shallow. Call me all the names you want. Now, where is the topic, man? By following our video, 
at least, you will have more knowledge and insight about Islam and Christianity. Absolutely. And about Quran and the Bible <coughs> as well. For sure. Christian Prince said that Quran wasn't a God's revelation uh -huh. because According to him, mm -hmm. it was impossible for the sun to set in the black mud. Stop! Stop! I never said that. I never said it's impossible for the sun to set in the black mud. It is possible. <laughs> the proof is in the Quran, brother. <laughs> what do you mean I said impossible to sun to set in the black mud? I didn't say that. Huh? It's not impossible. The Quran said the sun set in murky water, so you are believers, so we have to believe in it. That's it. The sun set in murky water. Explain to us, brother. Then in Al Kafi, first number, man, as written in Al Kafi. Hold on, hold on. Quran wasn't a God's revelation because, according to him, it was impossible for the sun to set in the black man. No, it's not impossible. As no. written in Al Kafi, first number eight. My friend, there is no chapter in the Quran is called Al Kafi. What Kafi? It's Al Kahf. Al Kahf. Al Kafi. Now you are Ustaz who is teaching those Abdul about Islam, and suddenly Al Kahf became Al Kafi. Mean Kahf, mean Kiev, 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 the Kiev. You know, Kiev man. Nice to meet you. The six. The accusation that Christian Prince... Stop! What accusation, man? What accusation? Accusation? Christian Prince, he made accusation? I did not make any accusation. <laughs> it's your Quran saying that, not me. I was reading what is there. Accusation. That is new. First number 86. The accusation that... Christian Prince made really prove his foolishness hmm. or without he realized he was revealed his own lies hmm. and foolishness. Hmm. It proved that he didn't read the Quran Al Kafi first Again, okay. see correctly. Or he knew it but deliberately translated it as he like okay hold on hold on i translated i translated it directly you idiot you will use the same translation i use in two seconds from now you donkey you just said i'm lying in the translation but you will read the same exact translation I was reading. Hello? Okay, tell us more. What, what? Say again. Deliberately. No, 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 no. Say it again. Deliberately. Uh-huh. Translate. No, say it again. Well, he knew it, but deliberately translated <laughs> okay. it as he lied. Mm. So that Muslim doubt their holy book mm. I will quote the Al Kafi first 86 Al Kafi again. Al -Kafi again until when he reads the setting of the sun he found it is in a spring or murky water near it he found a people God said, O Zulkarnain, you have authority either to punish them or to treat them with kindness. The first is a story about Zulkarnain who was leading his troops in a journey when the sun began to set. At the time, mm -hmm. They reach the end of the sea which has no land. They took a rest because uh, the day become dark. Because Stop! I mean, that is genius. The guy, he found discovery. At that time, people, they take rest when the night, when it's dark. As today, we don't do that too. I mean, like at that time, 
Uh, okay, we, 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 uh, I mean, why am I even interrupting the guy? Let him explain himself. Go, go ahead. No land. They took a rest. No land. Because uh, the day become dark. Oh. Because of that, he just saw the sea whose color was black. Uh, 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 uh. The more the sunset, the darker the color of the water, so it looked like... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, hold, hold on. So when the sun set, the water became dark? Looked like the ocean we have here is different from your ocean in Indonesia. Let us see Indonesia sunset pictures. Indonesian people, in the sunset, the ocean became dark, brother. Very, very true. This is sunset, my friend. Okay, let us see. Sunset, uh, sunset, Indonesia. I'm searching for uh, pictures. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, give me a second. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now we knew what happened. Oh no, this one have a girl. Uh, this one have a. <clears throat> uh, this one. Okay, this one is possible. Let us show this one. I'm using. Uh, I'm, I have to look for one they are legally allowed to use, brother. So, brother and sister, this is a, a big sir in Indonesia, in, 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 an, uh, in an island, it's called uh, Sunset Harmony Bay, Togan Island, to, to, Togian Island. I think Togian Island is like in the Tango in Indonesia, but you know, middle of Africa somewhere. Anyway, so look, brother, when the sunset, the ocean became dark, and he thought, this is a murky, muddy water. I mean, it's obvious. You can tell it's muddy, and you can tell it's murky, and you can tell it's water. The three elements, all of them, they are there. And this is exactly what happened, brother. I mean, is it obvious? <laughs> okay. Tell us more. Tell us more, brother, from Peltamore. Your explanation is beyond imagination. And I am me, the only one understand your situation. We just made Quran, it's called the verses, the chapter of situation. Like as if the they took a rest because uh, the day become dark. Because of that, he just saw the sea whose color was black. Hmm. The more the sunset, the darker the color of the water, so it looked like as if the sun set in the black mud. Mm. And that was only the vision of Zulkarnain, not that of Allah. Ah, that was the vision of Zulkarnain, not Allah. Okay, I will see if this is true or not. So, it is not Allah who said the sun set in the black mud. Mm -hmm. in the murky world. Oh. That's why it is not Quran which is wrong. It is not Allah who is wrong, but it is Christian Prince. Hold on. I am not the... Why you didn't say it is the Quran is wrong now? <laughs> Look at the stupidity. You just said, according to your understanding, that Zul Qurnayn, he is the one is talking. And he is the one he thought the sun set in murky water. What I have to do is you should say it's Zul Qurnayn is wrong, but you cannot say that because Zul Qurnayn is a prophet of Allah too. <laughs> okay, continue, continue. Who misunderstand? <laughs> mm. No, 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 what understand? I, mi I misunderstand. A second ago you said I was lying. And there's a huge difference between misunderstand and lying, my friend. Don't uh, don't change the topic, please. No, no. I want to be focused with me. You are saying I can't go back in the video. You said lies, lies. You said it uh, more than ten times. 
not misunderstand. Come on, I reserve my right. That's why it is not Quran which is wrong. It is not Allah who is wrong, mm -hmm. but it is Christian prince who misunderstand. So why you said I was lying? I am very disappointed of you. So now I'm lying or misunderstand? I want to complain to the Muslims. This guy, he said I'm lying and now he's saying I misunderstand. We cannot put both together. I'm now confused. Which one I am? I'm just lying or misunderstand? Actually, Actually Christian Prince uh -huh. is the wrong one. Because it is obvious. It's obvious. He doesn't understand Quran exactly. at all. Exactly. At all. He even lied to Muslim and Christian uh -huh. as well. Like what? Hopefully, he will repent for his mistakes and foolishness. Brother, let me say to you now immediately, I really am going to repent. <clears throat> and uh, I just receive inspiration like your Prophet Muhammad. Uh, Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Misunderstanding. Allah just told me you misunderstand. Okay, idiot. Let us go to the Quran and everybody will die laughing at you. Actually, first of all, let us read his translation first because I'm going to use his translation and you Muslims will leave Islam because of this idiot. Listen carefully. He will quote for us the Quran himself. He said, I'm using the wrong translation. What about your translation? Let us see. Hopefully, Muslim and Christian viewer won't easily believe what he says hmm. because his knowledge of Quran and the Bible actually is still low. Very low. By following our video, at least you will have more knowledge and insight about Islam. And my voice is low, guys. Somebody saying my voice is low. How, how my voice is low? My friend, just turn on the speaker. But my voice is low. Everybody hear me very well. La 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 Mr. Okay, after all the scandal and uh, read the verse for us. Christianity? And about Quran and the Bible as well. Christian Prince said that Quran wasn't a God's revelation because uh, his voice is low. His voice is low. Okay, let's make it like uh, higher. Was according to him, it was impossible for the sun to set in the black mud. Okay, guys, is his voice good now? Do you hear him? Do you hear his voice? Forget about my voice. Is his voice fine? His voice. His voice not good? His voice not good. Oh, okay. Well, okay, let me... Let me play his voice from the speaker then. It's good or not his voice? You guys confusing me. You're taking advantage of me because I'm, I'm a Christian prince and my knowledge is very subtle. Huh? Is that why? Ah, okay. So maybe I will lower my voice to make my voice close to his voice and that will make you both have the same standard for both microphones. All right, let us see. <clears throat> I will uh, I will put his voice higher. In Al Kafi, first huh? number eighty six. The accusation that Christian Prince made really prove his foolishness, or without he realized he was revealed his own lies 
and foolishness. It proved that he didn't read the Quran. Al Kafi first take the sick correctly. Well, he knew it, but deliberately translated it as he liked. So that Muslim doubt their holy book. I will quote the Al Kafi first, 86. Until when he reads the setting of the sun. Hold on. Until he reached the setting of the sun. Hmm. Okay. Muslims. How we reach the sun, the setting of the sun. You see the guy is going on a journey, right? Until, I'm using his translation now, remember. Until he reached the setting of the sun. But this guy, his trip was for many years. Actually, this guy is the same as Alexander the Great, who was a bisexual. So Muhammad describing a, a journey of a man who reached the end of the world. It's not a, a journey of one day and uh, he found the sunset, as this guy is saying. Muhammad is claiming that this guy, he reached the end of the world from the east to the west. So he entered, he keep going in his journey until he reached the setting of the sun. The fact in the, in the, the correct translation is the setting place of the sun. Now we will show you. Everything we will show you is Islamic translation. Let us go to Quran. <clears throat> and as you see, we don't use our Quran, we use your Quran. We don't use our translation, we use your translation, Muslim Muhammadan. All right. Chapter 18, verse number 86, and this is your translation. And this is a translation actually he is reading too. All right. I think this is a translation of Yusuf Ali. Yeah, this is Yusuf Ali translation. Be my witness. It is not me. I did not translate anything. I'm just using your Muslim translation, which is always, you know, absolutely fraud. So read with me here. They are asking you about the Qur'an. Who is talking Allah? Saying to Muhammad, they are asking you concerning the Qur'an. Now, how, if, how, how in the world a man, his name is Muhammad, his God is Allah, he called a, a man Zul Qur'an. Zul Qur'an means the guy with the two horn. I mean, is that the name of a person? Who is this guy? Have you ever heard of a guy his name is the guy with the two horn. Why? He was a cow? The story behind this is a fiction story written by a Syrian, Syrian, not a Syrian, Syrian writer about, about, about a man who is Alexander the Great and he called him in this story Zulqarnayn, the man with the two horn, because the Roman, they used to wear a hat with two horn. And this man who conquered the, 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 the whole earth so now they are asking him about Zul Qurnayn. What do you know about Zul Qurnayn? Allah is telling Muhammad now. Say, say Muhammad. Who is talking Allah, not Zul Qurnayn? Zul Qurnayn is already dead. Say, I will, I who, Allah. I will rehearse you something of his story. So who is talking Allah? About who? About Zul Qurnayn. Telling us what? His story. Verily, we establish his power in earth. Allah established the power. We, who is we? Allah. Who is his? Zulqarnayn. Where the power established in the earth, not in the moon. And we gave him the way and the means of all ends. All ends of what? All end of the earth. We establish his power where, again, for the slow uh, 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 people like this guy in Sam. 
Verily we establish his power where? On earth, not in his town, not in his village, not in his Walmart store, on earth. So the story is about a guy who controlled the whole earth. And we gave him the way of all men to the end, to the end of the earth. One such a way he followed. He, he follow away, okay, until when he reached the setting of the sun. Okay, hold on. This is the translation this Abdul he used. Until when he reached the setting of the sun, but this guy is a traveling for many years, and he see the setting of the sun every day. So what is special about this? When he reach this place, is this is where the sun set. He found it. He found what? He found it. He found what? He found the sun. Who is talking? Allah. You see, if the guy is talking and he say, I found it, even if that, Allah should correct him. He should say, and he thought, you know, he thought it is like this. No, the one is talking is Allah. Nobody else is talking. He found it. So Allah is reporting a found what this guy he found? He found the sunset in a spring, you idiot. If I go back to his translation, I want the Muslim to read with me, please. Let us see how many Muslims will leave Islam today because a few Mr. Uh, Insan. He found it is in a spring. Hold on. You stupid, you said to us that this is what happened when you see the sunset in, a, in, a, in, a, in the ocean. But the Quran says a spring. Is that your translation? Is that the one you approved? Where is the ocean? Anyone see ocean there? And now you are going to tell me spring of water became ocean? Spring is not even a river. Spring usually is something for little tiny body of water. It's not a river. It's like little water coming from the ground. That is not even a river. It is a little fountain of, wa of water coming from the ground. So how you lie to the Muslim saying this is the ocean? When the translation you put for us in the screen, it says a spring. Muhammadan, all of you, do you see the word spring? Is that my word? He said, I translate as I wish. I never did that. This is what he chose for us. Now, which one of and those in Indonesian language is a, is a spring? Hold on, let me, let me take a snapshot for it. And you guys, you tell me which one of the Indonesian language is the word spring so we can put it in the screen. <clears throat> Which one is the the the, uh, the word spring in Indonesian? Which one? Which one? Tell me, tell me the one, the word. Which word is the uh, spring in the Indonesian translation? I'm waiting. Mata air. Where is the word mata air? Show me the in his translation, guys. So, show me in his translation. Until when he reads the setting of the sun, he found it is in a spring of murky water. Near it, he found a people. God said, Oh, oh Zulka, until when he reads the setting of the sun, he found it is in a spring from murky water. All right, let us open the snapshot and you low it, low it. Okay, the word low it. Let us see. All right. 
Let us put it in the screen without YouTube sign. People read with me. Indonesian people read with me. This is his translation, not mine. Not mine. I do not uh, speak Indonesian, but they told me that this is the word spring. Do you see it? So how this liar, he says to you that this is about the ocean and where the ocean is. Lot is a sea. Oh, so translation here, they lie too. So they, they lie, huh? they lie in the, you see, they lie in their translation. Lot is a sea. They, they lie, you see, when they translate to the Indonesian, they lie. In English, in his own screen, it says a spring. And this is exactly what it says in Arabic. So when they translate the liars, they change the word spring into lot, which means an ocean. So who is the liar? Insan, who is the liar? Let us zoom in more. I think everybody will be dying laughing at your at your lies, my friend. Shame on you. In this age, in this age you do this. Shame on you. You know when I was like in your age, like uh, uh, 1,000 years ago, I was uh, way smarter than this, man. What is this? Okay. So Muslims, this guy, he did lie to you. He says to you, in the Indonesian translation that this is what the Quran is saying but here he's saying spring in the Muslim website it says spring in Arabic it says spring shame on you you have no dignity if we go to the Arabic Quran we will find the Quran confirm that this is a spring of water here we go wajadaha taghrubu fi aynin hamia ayn ayn you know don't you muslim you say huru ayn huru ayn this is ayn ayn is an eye eye you know in arabic we call a spring of water an eye of water because it's small tiny see how they lie to you so all oh, this is you know scandal and this is drama and christian prince lie to you and you are the one lying to those poor indonesian you know what i will change the translation here i will switch to indonesian to see in the muslim uh, uh, indonesian translation do they make it ocean too what is the indonesian translation let us see indonesian indonesian Urdu. What is the Indonesian? Malay. Uh, I don't see Indonesian here. Where is Indonesian? Here we go. Indonesian. Indonesian Basha. Okay, here we go. Let us see if they lie here in the translation. Here we go. They lie too here. They lie. Look, 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 look. And here it says ocean, but in it, it doesn't say that. Even in his video, in his video, it says a spring of murky water. Do you see Indonesian how they lie to you? In order to cover the lie, they say this is Oh, the, the Quran saying he found the sun set in the ocean, but it doesn't say that in the, in the, in the unbelievable. You are just a stupid idiot. And this is why we say you cannot learn Islam from Muslims. For first, they fabricate translation. Secondly, they do anything to defend the Quran with no dignity and the proof in front of you. In the same video, we have two words. One is saying a spring of water and one is saying 
an ocean which one and all of us we knew that the word spring cannot cannot fit in any way in any mean with the ocean now if we go back to the Quran we have to go to the English translation let us open it in different pace so we can go back to the Indonesian and see if there's anything to compare between this and that you know okay <clears throat> all right let us continue from here until when he reached the setting of the Sun Muslims just to show you how Muslim they, they fabricate translation I will use I will just change the translator all of them they are Muslims all of them they are Muslims look what will happen this is Yusuf Ali translation I will choose different translator a Pakistani you know uh, and this guy he was supporting Mujahideen like Hilali Khan let us see this Hilali Khan what he will say <laughs> look what happened here until when he reached the sitting place of the Sun the sitting what the sitting place of the Sun and look the Quran confirm that this is a special special place for the sun to what is it said why because this guy he controlled the whole earth and he did not meet that place yet so he keep going in his journey keep going keep going keep going until when he reached the setting place of the sun not the time when the sun set because sun set every day here there's a special occasion Allah is reporting something nobody knows until he reached the setting place of the sun he found it setting who is the one saying he found it allah not zulqarnain so let us say for the sake of argument zulqarnain he thought the sun set in a spring of muddy water how allah he say he found it he should not say that because when i say he found that's mean i'm reporting a fact Who is saying he found it? Allah. Aka Muhammad. So what Allah is saying he found it. So he's reporting a find. Sitting where? In a spring of a black, muddy, hot water. Why it is hot? You see, there is something they did not mention to you in your Indonesian translation, I guess. That this water is hot. Why it's hot? Is the ocean hot? No. But there is a spring of waters where they are hot. Correct? There is hot water, and I believe they are existing in Indonesia, where the spring of water coming from the ground and it is hot. And there are legions who people believe that the sun get their heat from there. So the sun go and go under the throne of Allah and because the throne of Allah in the top of that hot water, so the throne prostrate itself under the throne of Allah, which is in the top of the hot water. And he found near it. Look at this. He found near what? He found near the water, which is what? Which is a spring of water. My voice not clear? Guys, is my voice clear? I think just people making things up. And you know what, Muslims? Let us say, let us say this guy, he's doing his best to defend Islam. And he said it clearly that the one who say that the Quran teach the sun set in murky water is a liar. Did he say that? He said that, right? Let me make you hear it again. The one who say the sun set in a murky water, he is lying. That's what he said. We will see if this is true or not. Translated it as he lied. First, take the sick correctly. Well, he knew it, but deliberately translated it as he lied. See? So he's accusing me that I gave a false translation in purpose.
to mislead the Muslims. So whoever say the sun set in the murky water, he is a liar. And he did that in purpose of misleading the Muslims. Remember that, Muslims, because in a few minutes from now, I will show you what your prophet said about this verse. So that Muslim doubt their holy book. So Muslims, if this is true, the Quran is saying that you should doubt your holy book. He just said that. Because if this is true, obviously Allah cannot be God. And that will make you leave Islam. Thank you very much. So now what is missing is missing to prove that this is really what the Quran meant. We will do that soon. I will call the al kafi first 86 until when he reads the setting of the sun he found it is in a spring or murky water near it he found a people God said O Zulkad 9 you have authority aided to punish them or to threat hold on hold on we, we have just somebody let Islam uh, from, I think he's from Indonesia I don't know uh, Insan, did you see what you just did? Look. Just right now, someone left us now. Do you see what you did? Okay. And now more people will leave Islam just after I show more proofs. Just wait, we are not done yet. More disasters are coming. Tell us more. Let them with kindness. The first is a story about Zulkarnain, who was leading his troops in a journey when the sun began to set. Look like this guy during his journey with his troops. This is the only time ever he saw the sun set. Before he never saw it. This is the only day. Only like this is. It happened only once every one hundred a year. You know this guy. He saw it. I mean, he was traveling, 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 traveling with his troops, 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 and then, and then he, uh, the sunset. Ah, looked like in the old days, the sunset maybe once every two hundred years, maybe. Ah, okay. At the time, they reached the end of the sea, which has no land. Okay. What? What? He reached the end of the sea, which has no land. I mean, have you ever heard of such a stupidity? At the end of the sea, there's no land. At the end, he reached at the end of the sea where there's no land. You know what? You are making me dizzy, man. How it is the end of the sea and there's no land. So what is there? You just said at the end of the sea. <sighs> Let it go. Let it go. They took a rest because uh, the day become dark. Uh. Because of that, he just saw the sea whose color was black. Mm. The more the sunset, the darker the color of the water, so it looked like mm. as if the sun set in the black mud. And that was only the vision of Zulkarnain, not that of Allah. So, it is not Allah who said the sun set in the black mud or in the murky wood. That's why it is not Quran which is wrong, it is not Allah who is wrong, but it is Christian prince who misunderstand. Thank you. So most times you heard him. So this is, if this is true, if the sun set in murky water, this is wrong. Let us get you busted, you idiot. This is your prophet, you donkey. Is he wrong too? Is he lying? Is he mistranslating? 
This is your prophet saying, I was sitting, narrated by Abu Dhar. I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah, who was riding a donkey like you. While the sun was setting, he asked, Do you know where they sat? I replied, Allah and his apostle know best. He said, It set in a spring of warm water, Hamia. So you stupid idiot. You just said, the one who say that is a liar. The one who say that is wrong. The one who say that is a fraud. The one who says that he is trying to mislead and deceive people. So you just admitted that your prophet is a deceiver. And this is the hadith number. And as you see, it is sahih in chain. Everything about it is perfect. Now you Muslims, you tell me. Christian prince, he don't understand the Quran. His knowledge is shallow. But then Tita, I'm going to tell you about Christian prince. First of all, his knowledge is shallow in the Quran. And you know that Tita in the Quran. Uh, <clears throat> uh, but I'm reading now the hadith of your prophet. Do you think he is shallow too? First of all, the prophet never said that. The prophet, he said that the sun set in a muddy spring of water and it's hot. Okay, so it is sitting in a muddy spring of water, correct? Exactly, and that makes it very accurate. If you go to the website of NASA, you will find that the sun set in murky water every day. In the website of NASA, they say the sun set in murky water. Exactly, and sometimes the sun set in jacuzzi. In where? Jacuzzi. Jacuzzi, okay, but there is any like proof of this knowledge? I can prove it for you. If you go to the Quran, chapter 18, but that the text, it said that the sun set in murky water. Ah, the proof is in the Quran. We found it. How I miss that? How I miss that? Thank you, Zach and Naik, for correcting us. Christian Prince, you are more welcome. And I invite you right now to convert to Islam. And let us go together to have a visit a trip into the Mecca. To have what? Visit a trip. You have what? Visit a trip. A business trip. What we will do? What do you mean business? We can sell some drugs. Ah, from Pakistan, you mean? Yeah, a huge number of uh, people who do Hajj, they smuggle drugs to Mecca. Hmm, a lot of customers there. <laughs> Everybody is high. <laughs> Allah is high. Muhammad is high. And go around the Kaaba and they are high. Actually, they arrested a woman. She was like a hundred years old and they found a black label whiskey with her. The police, he said to her, shame on you in this age. Shame on you. She was in the airport like, why you have a black label? Whiskey with you. She said, oh, my son, I cannot walk around the Kaaba. I drink black label, the Kaaba go around me. <laughs> and this is exactly what happened to your idiot. He wanted to prove us wrong, saying that the one who say, as a Christian prince saying, is a liar, when the fact who said that is his prophet. Do you see it? So it looked like Mr. Insan, he drank a lot of a black label and he thought because the Kaaba going around him, that is me. I'm getting dizzy. It's you who's getting dizzy, you idiot. And now as long you open this topic, let us continue. Because the story is not over here. The story continue just to show that Muhammad is a stupid prophet. Because now Allah told him, either you punish them, order, etc. Who? Those who he found the next to the near hot water, not an ocean. It is a spring of a black water, as you see. And there's no way a man, he will think that the water of the ocean is a spring. It's impossible. And then we see here that Zulkarnain, he chose a different direction. So now he reached where the sun set, correct? <laughs> Look what happened after verse number 89. It says, and then he changed, changed his direction. Until, until what? Until he, when he came to the rising place of the sun. Do you see it, you idiot? 
So now what the Quran confirmed that there's two places where the sun set and where the sun rise and both of them he reached them. So this liar, <laughs> he wanted to fix it. He made it more blind. And now the Quran is confirmed that there is two places, one where the sun set and one where the sun rise and the proof in the front of you. He found it again. Did he, did he thought the sun is rising in that place? No, he found it. He found it rising on a people. Why he is saying that? Oh, let me say it the why. Why? And this, well, this is how he say why. Why, Christian press? Why? He found it rising in people. The sun rises everywhere. The sun set everywhere. The sun rises everywhere. I do not need to go anywhere to see either both. The sun rising or setting. So he keep going. He changed direction, which means he took the opposite direction. He went to the east now. Until he found the, the rising place of the sun. Are we going to say this is a Christian translation? No, this is Muslim translation. Muhammad Hilali and Muhammad Khan. Here we go. Read it. Oh, we can change the translation for you. And then when he found those people, he found the sun rising upon them. He told them, or sorry, uh, 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 those people, they told him, uh, After he changed direction again here, he found people. He reached, enter when he reached between the two mountains. You see, he have a long journey, long journey, years and years. He found people who live between two mountains or next to the mountains. And those two mountains, people will scarcely understand the word. And look at the stupidity of the Quran. He, the Quran just said that those, uh, those people understand nothing. You can't even talk to them. They can't even understand the word. And right away they said to him, Zul Qurnayn, verily Juja wa Ma'juj, Gog and Magog are doing great mischief in the land. Shall we pay you tribute in order that you might uh, uh, like build a barrier? You idiot, how you just said that the sun, sorry, uh, 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 those people don't understand anything, uh, uh, just a line before. And now look like they are smart. They are asking him to build a dam. How they cannot understand the word and suddenly they became engineers. And they are offering money. And how this Zulkarnayn, he is coming with an army and he conquered the land and yet they offer him to pay. He would take his money, their money anyway. The story is stupid. And then uh, Zulkarnayn, he agreed to build for them a dam. And he said, okay, give me pieces. Huh? Give me pieces of blocks of iron. Then when he had filled up the gap between the two mountains. So according to the Quran, there is a people who they are called Gog and Magog. And they are not a human, by the way, because their ear is like a tent. They sleep inside it. And each one of them, he can have sex until he have 100 baby before he die. So each one of Gog and Magog is equal to 1,000 from us as population. Where are they? And they are behind the dam. And Muhammad, he claimed in the hadith that those people every day, they try to open a hole in the dam so they can get out and they will invade Mecca. But Allah will defend Mecca. So here he's saying, so he built a dam, he built a wall barrier between, between them and the people of Gog and Magog. And they will not be able to go through until Allah he allow them to make a hole in it. Do you see it? So this story here is a stupid story. Is not exist. We have satellite is is is, is scanning every inch in this earth. Where is people of Gog and Magog? This story alone is enough to prove that Muhammad is a fraud. This is a legion inserted in the book which is written about Alexander the Great about building a dam there's some, some kind of a creature who they are not a human they are very aggressive and they are very weird and they look scary and they are criminals and they would do mischievement and they will attack mecca they will attack jerusalem they will attack syria they will attack saudi arabia they would attack the whole world who in the world want to believe in such a garbage 
And now let us say that Zulqarnain, who was exist a couple of thousand of years ago, he built a dam between two mountains and they are made from iron. Iron will rust and the atom will open. Imagine we have a dam from iron built 4,000 years ago, 3,000 years ago. Where is people of Gog and Magog? If we go in the Hadith, we will find Muhammad getting getting this guy busted more. Indonesian who will translate this video, you can cut this video as you wish, like you can make it the first part as you wish. I mean, it became long. But if we go in the Hadith, you will see Muhammad saying the following. Uh, garbage in, garbage out. Let us see. Uh -huh. You're a prophet in his time, he says, to thee, to thee, the people of Gog and Magog, they open little, 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 tiny hole in it. This is in the time of Muhammad. Where are they? Until now, they are opening the hole. Do you see it? All those hadith are sahih. Right? You see, all of those are Sahih. There is no being worthy to worship except Allah. Uh, there is a, a, a destruction in, in, a, in a store of Arabia because of turmoil, which is it at hand. The barrier of Gog and Magog has opened much. Muhammad is warning in that in his time that Gog and Magog are coming. Do you see it? And this is Sahih Hadith. Look, look how many times this guy he keep wrote, repeat, talking about them. And the story according to Muhammad, those people they keep digging in the in the dam in the dam to open it, and then uh, at night time they go to sleep. But because they forgot to say, Inshallah, Allah, He closed the hole they opened during the daytime. No, not hundreds of millions. It should be billions. Yeah, billions. Because you see, everyone is 1,000. So if you are 7 billion, a human being, there should be 7,000 7, uh, trillion. Uh, you see, this is even from the sign of the of the hour, the Gog of Magog. Muhammad is obsessed with it. <clears throat> Look at this. Look here, a Muslim, he might say to me, where, uh, uh, where the population of Gog and Magog, 1,000 to 1, you know? It says in the front of you. Uh, he said, Rejoice with the glad tidings. One person will be from you, and one thousand will be from Gog and Magog. This is the, the percentage between us and them. Uh, look at this story where Muhammad he said, and obviously Muhammad is a fraud. He said, Gog and Magog, people dig every day until when they can almost see the ray of the sun, which means through the hole they dig in. And the one in charge, he said to them, go back, go back, we will dig tomorrow, we are done for today. Then Allah, he put it back together, stronger than before. And they will continue doing this, which means Gog and Magog, they will keep coming every day, dig in the same place, making a hole, then they go to sleep, they come back, Allah close it. And when their time has come, that the time where Allah will open, the, the, the will allow them to do it, Allah will uh, want to, to send them against the people. They will dig until they can almost see the ray of the sun. Then one of them who is in charge, he will say, go back and we will dig tomorrow if Allah wills. You see the secret word now, the password to go through? You don't say, he don't say if Allah will be for. 
So all those centuries and thousands of years, they are digging, but they did not say if Allah will. And now because they said if Allah will, inshallah, they will come back. And if Allah will, they will say inshallah. And then when they come to tomorrow, they found it as they left, which means Allah did not fix it. And this is how they will be able to come out to start killing a human being. Do you see it? This is the story of your prophet. This is the book you are believing in. This is the stupidity. So look what we confirm. We confirm that Muhammad, he said that the sun set in murky water. We confirm that this guy is a stupid. He is using false translation. As we showed you, the word in the Quran, it says a spring of water. In the Indonesian translation, they change the word spring and they make it lot of water or lot of water. I don't know how to say it in Indonesian language. Why? The word spring became ocean. Because simply, if you see it as it is in your language, a spring of water, you will not accept what he just said to you because there is no way a man, he will think that the sun sitting in little tiny spring of water. If you do not know what spring of water mean, let me show you a picture. Let me, let me find you a picture of a spring of water. But I'm sure you Indonesian, you live in villages, you live in small towns, mountains, you have a beautiful country. Indonesian people are beautiful people too. I love them. Uh, let us search for the word spring and see how a spring of water look like. Is it really so huge, scary? No. Actually, Muhammad, he spoke about it in the Hadith. It's called the Fountain of Youth. Yeah. This is what a spring of water is. A little tiny fountain coming from the ground. Sometimes it can be even very weak, like this one is stronger. Sometimes it can be like not even like a faucet. Like this, you know. This is a spring of water. Exists in many villages, even in the Middle East. People, they build like Zamzam. Zamzam is a spring of water. Zamzam is a spring of water. So how in the world he found the sun sitting in Zamzam? <laughs> right? So they lie to you, my friend, in order to, to cover the stupidity of the Quran. And now how many Muslims will leave Islam? How many million Muslims after they see the video of Mr. Insan, they will leave Islam? Right? Uh, if you are the Arabian people, why you say, inshallah, not insha, and say, well, well, Lord? I don't understand, Aji, what you are saying. It's not clear for me. I don't know what do you mean. Insha, in si wal in say walu. What in si walu? Which language is that? Insha, insha. If he allow, sha, sha allow. If you go in the Quran, you search for the word sha. You will find. What the word sha'a mean, which means he is willing to allow things to happen, or you uh, 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 like uh, in the, there's a hadith where a Jewish guy he came to Muhammad and he said to him, You are a kafir, you are a kafir. Uh, why I'm a kafir? The Jew he said to him, You Muslim, you say, Insha'Allah, wa shit. Let me find you the hadith. Here we go. Read the hadith here. A Jewish man correcting the pagan Muslims. And this is Sahih. Read it carefully. Sahih. An Nisa'i, hadith number 3773. 
A Jewish man, it was narrated by Abdullah ibn Yasir, one of the highest names in the history of Islam, that uh, uh, a Jew came to the, to the Prophet, who? A Jew. A Jew. A Jew. Getting Muhammad busted in his time. Look what he said to him. You are setting up reviles to Allah, which means to God. He did not say Allah to God. And associating other with him. Who is saying that? The Jew. Saying to who? To Muhammad. You say, the Jew saying to Muhammad, you say, whatever Allah wills and you will. And you say, by the Kaaba. So the Prophet, look what the Prophet did. So the Prophet commanded them if they wanted to swear an oath to say by the Lord of the Kaaba and say whatever Allah wills, then what you will. <laughs> so the Jewish guy, he was getting Muhammad busted, saying to him, you are a mushrik, you are a pagan. And Muhammad, he changed the teaching of his religion because of the Jew. Do you see it? People, do you see it? Did Muhammad say to him, you are wrong? Did he say to him, no, we don't mean that? Muhammad agree with the guy that we are associating other with God. And the proof he agree, he did what the Jew asked for. How Muhammad can be a prophet? A Jewish guy walking by, he said to him, what's wrong with you Muslims? You are mushrikeen, you are kuffar. You associate with God a house. You associate with God names. You say if Allah will, and you will, when supposedly it's only the will of God. And then Muhammad, he says, okay, do as the Jews say. <laughs> Clear evidence that Muhammad is a fraud. If he is a truly a prophet of God, first of all, should not start saying the wrong things as the Jew, he got him busted, should know from the beginning that this is wrong. Why Allah did not send him a verse saying to him, hey Muhammad, don't say that, you idiot. Don't associate other with me. Don't say whatever Allah wills and you will. What the, what the Muslim they say? You say whatever Allah will and you will, both together. And you say by the Kaaba, swearing by stones, they swear by stones. The Kaaba is a bunch of stones. What is what the Kaaba? Muhammad and his followers, they, stone, they swear by stone and they claim that your will is equal to the will of Allah. The Jewish guy got them busted. You are, you are making a great sin. And look what he said to him in Arabic. Innakum tushrikun. He said to them, you are mushrikeen, Muslims. You are mushrikeen. Muhammad did not say to the Jew, this is not a true. He did exactly as the Jews wanted. Yeah, this is Sahih. Sure, this is Sahih. Here we go, in front of you. Right? And the one who is all talking about this Tovia singer, we got him busted many times. This guy is, a, is, a, is an idiot. You know, he, he worked in Indonesia. He, I think, uh, I don't know. And uh, the coward, he don't dare even to say Muhammad is a fraud. But I got him busted. This guy, Tuvia Singer, he said that Jesus is not born of a virgin. This is coming from their Greek mythology, which means Muhammad is a liar. Call him and ask him. Look, the video is there. I made a video about it. He don't dare to say Muhammad is a liar because he worked in, in Indonesia. He's a coward. He's a potato. We challenge him to debate me. He will not dare. But he admitted and he, he said it clearly that Jesus is not born of a virgin. This is coming from the Greek mythology, which means Muhammad and his God is a liar. You Indonesian people, you give him a visa to stay in your country and he is saying the Quran teaching a lie about Jesus? <laughs> Stupid people, especially the government. You see, the guy in your country, he's saying to you, the story about the Virgin Mary is a lie. By the way, he will never dare to say Muhammad is a liar. Look, supposedly he's smart, but Christian friends get him busted. Go watch the video. Anyway, I think we have enough for today. We have a good time. Anyone have a questions? So you see, guys, when those when those uh, stupid Abdul, they try to supposedly they call me names, uh, they insult me, 
they insult nothing but themselves, for they get themselves busted. What Zul Qurnain he thought the sun set in murky water. He thought where it says, okay, what can't Allah say in the Quran he thought? And what does that mean? I mean to say he thought. So he did not say he thought. He did not say the word ocean. It says a spring of water, and Allah he says he found it. So he's reporting a find. If I say to you, this guy he went to his house and he found it burned. I am reporting a find, not a thought. The second I say he found it, it's mean I'm reporting a find. First number 86. The accusation that Christian Prince made really prove his foolishness mm. or without he realized he was revealed his own lies mm. and foolishness. Don't forget to subscribe, by the way. By the end of the day, we are going to give up some versions. All those who watch our videos, I am, as you know, I am an Arab and I have connection with Allah. And you know what does that mean? It's not like you Indonesian, you pray to Allah, you don't know what you are saying in Arabic. No, I'm an Arab, real Arab, you know. So I can send a message to Allah in my language, which only Allah understand. Uh, <clears throat> and this is why nobody understand the Quran. And uh, I can give him a special message uh, for you, you know. I mean, brother, I mean, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Uh, this is uh, Zabriel was giving me a message for all of you uh, that the Prophet used to be squeezed for a very simple reason because the Prophet was very juicy. Have you ever heard of a Prophet being squeezed three times and after three times still he have no idea what's happening? The juicy Prophet, mayonnaise Prophet. Anyway, this is a different story. Uh, uh, just to remind you of what happened today, the disaster. That he didn't read the Quran. Oh, I can read the Quran. How I can read the Quran? I'm illiterate like your prophet. Did your prophet read the Quran too? He would go to the prophet. He said the sun set in murky water. That to prove that the prophet did not read the Quran too. <laughs> you see, brother, the one who said the sun set in murky water, obviously he did not read the Quran. And he has shallow knowledge and he's a liar. And that's mean your prophet is a that's confirm your prophet he did not read the Quran and he is a stupid and he don't understand the Quran and that will lead us to understand that he's a false prophet for how he come with this stupid answer you idiot Muhammad Dr. Insan is the one who have the correct interpretation hmm. <clears throat> yeah don't worry we will make a video about it I just said in the beginning but we will leave that for tomorrow we cannot uh, make all the cake in one day come on we want to have some fun tomorrow too so he will be like our uh, entertainment for 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 some time tell us more Al Kafi first take the sick correctly well he knew it but deliberately translated it as he liked so that Muslim doubt the holy book it's one of the things I like when they say holy book and he put his head up like a duck. I mean, your Quran is holy. What is holy about it? The big books. A book describing the women vagina. This is a holy book. Uh, holy book. Okay. I will quote the al Kafi verse 86. Until when he reads the setting of the sun, he found it is in a spring of murky water. Near it, he found a people. Hmm. And the spring of murky water became an ocean in the Indonesian language. Hmm. Obviously, there's no corruption and no lies. Absolutely. God said, O Zulkarnain. Okay, did, did, he, did he just say God said? He just confirmed that the one is talking is Allah, not the Quran. So, so Allah, he says he found it. 
you have authority mm -hmm. either to punish them or to treat them. I mean, look at the choices, man. You have authority either to punishment or treat them with kindness. If there's a third option, I mean, what is that? That's deep. With kindness. The first is a story about Zulkan Main, who was leading his troops in a journey when the sun began to set. At the time, they reached the end. At the time. At that time. Those things happen only at that time. They don't happen again. End of the sea, which has. At that time, they reached the end of the sea. Can somebody tell me where is the end of the sea? I want to know. I'm desperately looking for the end. Of, where is the end of the sea? Did this guy just say the end? He reached the end of the sea. And where the word sea is coming from? You just say the spring of murky water, the end of the sea. No land. They took a rest because. Uh... That's it. So, my friends, uh, don't forget to subscribe. I hope you guys, you. Uh, do we have any Muslim want to have any comment? If there's any Muslim want to have a comment about what we said. You see, we are not like those uh, 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 liars who say everything we say, it's in, in the front of you. I am not the one who is saying this is the sunset in murky water. It's your prophet. And you tell me why this guy, he claimed to be Ustaz. How he called himself Ustaz. Ustaz is a master in something. How this guy do not know that his prophet says so? And why he is replacing the word spring of water in English with the word ocean in Indonesian? And you tell me how in the world Allah, he says, he found it if this is not what he found. You see, when I say he found it, when I say, let us go back. Let's go to an Indonesian language. Hold on. Okay, this is the Indonesian language. You see, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't understand Indonesian, right? But let us see. I will use Google translation. Does it say until he arrive to the sitting of the sun? Let me copy. I will use Google translation. Give me a second. Translate <clears throat> just to see what what he is saying. Until he reached the sunset, he saw the sun sinking in a black muddy sea. This is a translation in, in uh, what it says. Okay, you see here, it doesn't say in Arabic. It doesn't say he saw. The word saw is not exist. So they are lying again. In Arabic, it says فَوَجَدَهَا. He found it. So they changed the word he found. Wajada. You see, wajada. Ha is like it's in Arabic. You add ha uh, to to like to point a finger at something, and uh, you know, uh, like you make it ha if it's a female. Who uh, wajada who if it's a male. The word you know if it's a male or female. So wajada ha which he found it. Taghribu taghribu So he found it sitting in murky water what in the translation they say he saw it but this is not what it says in, in, in arabic and this is why we don't find anyone of the translation saying he saw it where do you see anyone saying he saw it or he found it he found it sitting in a spring of a black muddy water this is your muslim translation too See, we are comparing between two Muslim translations. What is the word he saw? It's not exist. The purpose they changed the word he found it to saw it to make it that he is the one who saw. And that will make it more close to accept the lies they are saying to us. But the fact Allah is saying he found it, and not only he found it, he found near it, near that water where the sun set. And as you see, when he reached the setting place of the sun, not where the sun not the time of the sunset only. Anto. So he keep going. He keep going in his way. Long, many years. And then until when he reached the sitting place of the sun.
So this is a place where the sun sets, special place. He found it. This is a discovery. Otherwise, there's no point to mention that he found it sitting in the spring of Mormon. He can say until he reached the sea. That's it. He didn't say that. He never used the word sea. And why it is hot water? For this is a boiling, muddy spring of water. So always when they try to defend the Quran, they fabricate a clear meaning. The meaning is so clear. And they try to make it, they switch it, they bend it to make it fit with their fabrication. And then we go and we find that Muhammad, because this guy, he cannot keep his mouth shut, he got them busted. Muhammad, he made it clear that the sun set in a murky water. So who is here is lying now? Either Muhammad is lying or Insan is lying. You must then choose one. Because it cannot be both saying the truth. And now what they will say to you? They will say to you, this hadith is da'if. No, it's not. And why, is, why, why it is da'if? It's in total agreement with the Quran. It is in total agreement with the Quran. It's embarrassing. And as you see, even in their own introduction for it, they are saying this is very clear, sahih, in chain. Everything is perfect. Nothing is missing. All the names reported there are decent and trustworthy. So the only way for us to defend this, we lie. Right? And then the Muslim in order to defend, because later all, all the Muslim scholars, they notice that this is stupid. This is stupid. This is going to be true. So they start saying, oh, this is how he thought it is. Okay, show me where your prophet, this is how he thought it is. Your prophet, he said the opposite. And where in the Quran he says he thought? Can you show me? Where? Can't Allah just add a word says he thought? This is Tafsir Ibn Abbas, the most well-known scholar, the cousin of your prophet. Until when he reached the setting place of the sun, see, setting place of the sun, where the sun set, he found it sitting in a muddy spring, a black and muddy stinking spring. And it's also said it is a hot spring. So why now they are trying to, to come with different, uh, because simply it's embarrassing. One verse in the Quran destroy the lies of Muhammad, proving that he is a fraud. And now what we would do with Muhammad's statement? We will throw it in the garbage. We will say we Muslims don't accept it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We will be live on air again maybe today, and if not, tomorrow in the same time. And I will see you again. And tomorrow we will have a video about him because he made a video for me too. It's just for entertainment. I'm not, I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not answering him, by the way. But I know that Muslims will watch this video because he is in it, hoping that he can refute me. But as you see, this guy, he is working against Islam. He is helping us to make Muslims leave Islam. And this is wonderful. This is why I'm using his videos for our benefit because they are priceless. They are literally priceless. And we encourage all the Muslims in Indonesia to refute me. What is the rest of the stars? Those who speak Arabic, especially those who speak Arabic, I challenge you to accept to have a live call with me. And I will never hang up on you. And I will never call your name. And I will never insult you. And if I hang up on you, that's mean I am the one who lost the debate. Do you dare? All Indonesian Ustad are welcome to debate me they talk a lot they say nothing you know if you type in google the word ustad you'll find that those people they have obsession with titles i don't call myself ustad what ustad 
That is stupid even to say about yourself. That is stupid to say about yourself. People describe you as you deserve, whatever it is. It might be sometime something you deserve, it might be something you don't deserve. But you call yourself master, how you do that? Where is your qualification? Show us. And all of us, we knew that any human being who have little brain, he should know. It doesn't matter how much he knew, still he knew nothing. So what, what does that mean? Should Allah join your school? Should Muhammad join your school and learn from you? Ustad, you don't even know how, how to speak Arabic. And if you say it, you know, and the funny, they say to you, by the way, they recite the Quran, they memorize it. You keep beating a child until he memorizes the Quran. I challenge this guy who is an old man to, I will choose for him a chapter in the Quran and he recite it. And you will see he cannot. The only one they keep, the, the, the old ones, they recite only the Al-Fatiha. This is the only one they knew. But if you force a child since an early age, beating him, humiliating him, keep beating him until he memorized the whole Quran, he will. He's a child. A child memorize anything. I, I, can, I can sing for you and, and a commercial was on TV when I was a kid. Until now. Because simply I, I, I heard it when I was a kid. But can you memorize the Quran or recite the Quran now in old age? You cannot. So they say to you, memorize the Quran, but the Quran is a stupid book. The same Quran you memorize, it says the sun set in murky water, the women she have a sperm coming from her ribs, the man have a sperm coming from his backbone, and Allah don't remember which one he created first. So they love to give themselves names and titles. It's a business, but none of them he knew what he's talking about. A lot of money involved. Four wives, huge money, great business, and Allah is uh, our toy. This is the whole story. The decent Muslim leader in Indonesia called Ulama. You see, uh, Ulama, you see, uh, okay. Just to show you, uh, can I, uh, just to show you guys the ignorant of those Muslims. Okay, this is what somebody uh, posed for me. That the decent Muslim leader in Islam, in, uh, they call them ulama. Do you know what ulama? Ulama, according to the Quran, is not the one who knows, is the one who say, I believe. So that is a stupid too. In Islam, there is nobody understand anything. The Quran confirmed that the only one who can be considered alim is the one who say, I believe, not I understand. Chapter 3, verse number 7. Read carefully. And those who are ulama is the one who say, we believe. Do you see it? And those who are firmly grounded in knowledge say, we believe. So it's not someone he knew, it's someone say, I believe. So according to Islam, all Muslims are ulama because they say we believe. And the same verse saying to us, a line before, nobody understand the Quran save Allah, read it. And seeking for its hiding meaning and none knows the hiding meaning save Allah. So how we can call them ulama? Ulama mean uh, knowledgeable. Scientists, scholars. So how they are scholars, but they cannot understand the hiding meaning of the Quran, save Allah. So who is the scholar in Islam? Is the one who say, we believe in the whole of it. We believe in the sunset and murky water. We believe in all this garbage. Those are the ulama. Do you see it, my friend? So they give themselves title and names just to make money, business. Otherwise, they don't even know what those meaning. Yeah, we will make a video about the BMW tomorrow. Just wait, I will get my BMW. And I will offer him camera. You're actually, already I posted in his page. I said, tomorrow I will make a video for you. And I will not give you a BMW. I will give you a camel urine. All right? Yeah. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe. I might go live and air again later at night if I can. If not, tomorrow 
the same time as today we will be live again uh, for sure until then I, may, I, I say may the lord bless you and i hope more muslims which we love and we care for they will leave islam uh we know we don't hate the muslims and we will never hate them uh, indonesian people are wonderful people it doesn't matter really if they are christian or uh, buddha or we love them all i believe they are wonderful people amazing people beautiful people they have good heart but they are victims of the cult of islam i mean you will notice you indonesian you you tell me when you go and you live between people who they are for, forget about the christians go to a town the majority are not muslims you will see the town is different as simple as that the second you go where those terrorists ulama they are there you will find that hatred anger burning cars they want to kill the prime ministers they want to burn the mayor they want to kill everybody allahu akbar you know wherever this cult goes evil come go to a buddha town buddha buddha you see we don't believe in buddha we reject buddha but you will find that the people of Buddha have nothing to do with the evil of Islam. Which means the devil for sure is the founder of the cult of Islam. Wherever this devil go, peace run away. Love run away. This is why Muslims they need our love, not our hate. We don't need to, you know, we do not need to be additional hate in this earth. We are Christians. We believe in God the good, which is say the one who said, love your enemy. So if you are a Christian Indonesian, love the Indonesian Muslim. Don't hate them. Be truthful and tell them the truth. And this is how real love works. If you love somebody, you tell him the truth. For the truth will set you free. The Lord wisdom. I am the truth. I am the Alpha. I am the Omega. Search the books. Find the truth and the truth will set you free. And the truth, my friend, today is discovered by the help of this Muhammadan that Muhammad is nothing but a fraud. He lied. They fabricate translation. They fabricate the meaning of the Quran. All of this just to make the Quran sound better. But can they do that? And we learn today, don't just to remind you, that a Jewish guy, he got Muhammad busted in his time and he called him Mushrik. You associate others with God. And Muhammad did not say no, he agreed. He was learning from the Jew how to be a person following God, for he is a fraud. He is, he is learning the business, as we say. He is like somebody want to open a business. He don't know how, how this business run. He don't know who is his God, actually. So when a Jew walk by, just because he's a Jew, and the Jew, he spot him saying something stupid. Muhammad did not say, shame on you. We don't do that. You are wrong. We worship only one God. He agreed. And he took the advice of the Jew as an order. And he ordered and he commanded his followers not to say that anymore. Read carefully. So the prophet commanded them to do what? To do as the Jews say. He commanded them as to do as the Jewish man said. Who is the prophet then? How I want a guy walking by, it's teaching me how, about how to worship God alone. And he is just a normal Jew. And I am supposedly the prophet of God. How that can happen? Unless Muhammad is a fraud. Thank you very much for being here. If you like to learn more about Islam, you can read my books. You can find them in Amazon. If you're Indonesian, I have my book for you for free, translated in your language. You can search it in your own language. Maybe the admin can post the link for the Indonesian book so they can download it for free. And the reason I give my book for free for Indonesian because we love them and we care for them and we pray for them and we will never hate them. And I pray that time will come and all Indonesian, they will see the light of the, of the truth and the truth will free them. God is not a pimp who promised us virgins, my friend. God is holy. God is not going to rejoice for killing and slaughtering. God will not allow us to have sex with the children. Jesus said it, it's better for those who heard the little one to put a milestone around their neck and throw themselves in the deep ocean before they do that. How Muhammad, he married a child and he allowed you to marry children. How we can call it even marriage? For us, subscribe and tell your friends about what we do this is my instagram if you like to subscribe to my instagram 
I always post before I go live on air. And this is our Patreon. We post there before we go live on air too. And this is our other channel called The Quality of Life where we speak about other matters, not Islam. Uh, you know, things which is a special interest for us as a Christians. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. And I will see you soon again. Christ is Lord and Islam is false. I mean to that. See you.